Jan Smithers is a retired actress who remains popular thanks to her time portraying the character Bailey Quarters on the CBS sitcom WKRP in Cincinnati. Before Jan became famous, she was a beautiful model who could be seen gracing magazines all over the shelves. Join Facts First as we explore rare photos of Jan Smithers' modeling career before she was famous. Jan Smithers almost died in an auto wreck. Jan Smithers was born in California in 1949. Her father was an attorney, and his hefty income allowed Jan's mother to stay at home with the kids. Jan has a few sisters, though one of them died while the future star was only a teen. Jan was in the automobile accident that killed her sister, but she thankfully remained unscathed. Still, the tragic event left a scar on Jan that lasted into her adult years. Jan still feels guilty for her sister's death due to the fact that she was driving the car, which ran into a telephone pole. Jan Smithers was only 16 when she was discovered by two men at the beach and whisked away into the world of modeling. The two men were Newsweek photographers, and they offered her the chance to appear in an issue of the magazine. Jan's photo shoot proved such a success, she was featured on the cover of the issue that she ended up appearing in. The cover appearance drew plenty of attention to the young woman, and she was soon an in-demand model. The Newsweek cover featured her riding on the back of a motorcycle. The driver of the motorcycle was one of the teenage girl's real-life friends. The photo struck a chord with audiences due to its authenticity, and it's no wonder more publications began clamoring. After flirting with the notion of pursuing a higher education at Chornard Art Institute, Jan dropped out and dedicated herself to the pursuit of stardom. Jan dropped out of school to start acting. The Chonard Art Institute is a professional art school in Los Angeles. While there, Jan got the idea that she might be able to make it as an actress. She dropped out of the school with acting in mind and soon started getting parts. She made her TV debut in 1973 with an appearance on the TV show Love Story. She played a character called Barbara. It was a small part, but more notable parts would follow. By the end of the decade, she'd have a hit series in WKRP in Cincinnati. Jan could also be seen in a few made-for-TV features over the 70s. These included the likes of Where the Lilies Bloom and Our Winning Season. Despite this, her role on WKRP in Cincinnati has come to define her the most. It was a sitcom about a struggling radio station attempting to switch its format to become more popular. Jan played Bailey Quarters, one of the radio station's many staff members. Thanks in no small part to Jan's immense beauty, WKRP in Cincinnati proved a hit with audiences. Many fans don't realize that Jan started out as a model. WKRP in Cincinnati lasted four seasons. WKRP in Cincinnati came on the air in 1978 and proved a hit for the CBS network. It lasted for four seasons, finishing airing in 1982. Much of the cast series then fretted about where they'd go next. This included Jan, whose role in the series was her breakout success. Sadly, nothing Jan Smithers did in her acting career following the show proved as successful. Still, she could be seen on a few notable TV series in guest-starring roles before retiring from acting altogether in the late 80s. Some of these series included Hotel and The Love Boat. The main reason Jan decided to retire wasn't because of the lack of roles she was being offered. Instead, it was because she had just welcomed a daughter. Before we tell you more, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Jan Smithers was only an actress for just over a decade. All in all, Jan was only around in Hollywood for just over a decade and didn't perform in that many notable works besides WKRP. But her role in that classic series is enough to make the retired actress fondly remembered by nostalgic audiences. She's also been married two times over the course of her life. The first was to a man named Kip Whitman and was very short, lasting only a year before the divorce. Jan waited a while before tying the knot a second time. Her second husband was actor James Brolin, who is perhaps known for being the father of the much more famous Josh Brolin. Jan married James in 1986, only a few years after WKRP ended. Following their wedding, they went on to have a daughter named Molly Elizabeth Brolin. Josh Brolin was already around 20 at this time, making Molly his much younger stepsister. While Jan's marriage to James Brolin was far more successful than her first marriage, it didn't last forever. After tying the knot in 1986, they divorced in 1995. Jan has remained unmarried while James went on to marry Barbara Streisand shortly after. Since tying the knot shortly before the turn of the millennium, James and Barbara are still together. 
Jan puts her private life first. A big part of why Jan decided to retire from acting was to be there for her daughter Molly. To this day, Jan's last acting appearance is her 1987 role in the film Mr. Nice Guy, in which she played the character of Lise. Though Molly eventually grew up, Jan Smithers decided never to return to acting. Instead, she decided to dedicate her time to more spiritual pursuits. Given that Jan allegedly holds a net worth of $6 million as a result of her days as a model and actress, she's likely not wanting for work. Jan is currently 73 years old and still lives in California. She spends most of her days practicing yoga and meditation and is also said to be a member of a charitable group that functions out of India. She also champions her share of causes in her spare time. For the most part, she's chosen to remain completely out of the spotlight since retiring. More than anything, fans seem to love looking back at Jan Smithers' work during her modeling career before she became famous. She was certainly a stunning beauty during her prime, and it's no wonder that her looks stood out to Hollywood executives who gave her the chance to branch out into television. Today, with her focus on healthy living, Jan is aging incredibly gracefully. However, nothing beats looking at pictures of the retired actress during her modeling days. Jan will always be remembered as a stunning beauty. A big part of what Jan Smithers' modeling work stand out today are the suggestive outfits she chose to wear. At a time when many models were afraid of showing too much skin, Jan was proud to be seen wearing short dresses that showed an ample amount of legs. The majority of her most famous modeling work comes from the 1960s, dating back well over a decade before her iconic turn on WKRP in Cincinnati. Jan could often be seen sporting a pixie haircut during her career. Looking back at these rare photos, it's no wonder that Jan went on to take TV audiences by storm on WKRP in Cincinnati. Though the actress prefers to keep to herself for the most part nowadays and hasn't acted since the late 80s, she has appeared at a few reunion events alongside the rest of the cast of WKRP in Cincinnati. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know Jan was a gorgeous model before becoming a TV star? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content. By the way, if you haven't joined Facts First as a member yet, be sure to look below this video and click the join button. By becoming a paid member of Facts First, you'll get access to exclusive video content that you won't find anywhere else. This includes some of our more mature content that isn't suitable for public audiences, which includes topics like Hollywood actresses who posed for Playboy and some of the steamiest moments in movie history. Plus, you can enjoy these videos completely ad-free. Our biggest fans will notice they also get badges next to their name when they leave comments on our videos. We pay special attention to comments from our members and so do other viewers. So if you want exclusive content from Factsverse or inside access to discussions with other community members, click the join button to get started for just $4.99. There are hours of members only videos waiting for you with new videos added every month. And we're actively working on bringing even more features to help fans like you connect with other members and get more of your favorite content. Just click join and we'll see you inside the membership tab.